Welcome everyone, this is Robert with a Take Geek 311 Apple Watch review and my impressions. Now I've had the Apple Watch since April 30th, so it's been approximately about a week that I've had it. I've been able to use it daily. Uh, I've been charging it a lot during the first two days, and since then I haven't had the need to really charge it except once a night since I'm not wearing it as a sleep tracker right now. So I wanted to give you guys basically an overview, show you uh, pretty much how it works, then I'll go into the Apple Watch app on my phone to show you more of the settings and setup. So right here you have its home pages, very similar to what your iPhone has. So you have all the applications that you currently have on your phone in here. So you can scroll all the way through. The center you have is the clock. So if you tap on here, which this is the digital crown, if you push that in, it's going to bring you right into your clock. Now I've chosen this clock setting on purpose because I've got my calendar up here and in the center I've got my weather, my fitness tracker, and my battery life right here. If I hold this in, which is called force touch, then that allows you to customize this. You can customize the color, swipe across, or you can customize any one of these separate settings that you choose. Tap it again, or hit the digital crown, bring you right back into your home page. Now you have two things you can do here. You can swipe your finger down. This is like your notification center on your phone. It gives you all your notifications. You have two things you can do here. If you want to get rid of this one, swipe across, and you can hit clear. If you want to get rid of the whole thing, you're going to force touch. It's going to give you the option to clear all, and you can clear them all out of the way. So that's a good thing that the uh, iPhone I'm hoping gets with iOS 9, but the Apple Watch has it. Now if I swipe up, this is going to be your glances. This here represents like control center. So you have airplane mode, you have do not disturb, and you have your silent. Then you also have this little iPhone here which allows you to ping it, sort of the same way Find My iPhone works. You can also tell that you are connected to your phone above. Swipe across, you're going to get whatever you've put in your glances, such as here I have my battery life to my phone. That's an app that I got for this. Here I have my credit card information. This is going to be my weather and rain alert. I have uh, the app 24Me, which I'll do uh, an Apple Watch review on that, so make sure you subscribe so you can see that. Got my other app here, Good Task, which I'll have another review on that one as well. I have another app here that I have. Of course, I have another app here I put. This one here, I will do another review on this one as well. Here you see a notification comes through. No banners, so it's just like the old notifications used to be. There's another one. You just simply dismiss them. Go across here, I have another app. You have your maps. I have another app here, another app here. And then here, I have the fitness app. You can see I've been doing a lot of activities so far. And this is the heart rate monitor that I've added in here as well. So you can just swipe across and you can see all of your notifications or all your other applications in glances that you want to. Now, the digital crown right here, this acts sort of like your home button. You can move it with one finger. I don't recommend doing two fingers. You can also push it in as a home button. This button right here on the side, this is sort of like your sleep weight button. So if I tap it once, you'll get my contacts. If I tap it twice, you'll get my Apple Pay. Okay? But if I hold it in, now you're going to get the ability to turn it off, reserve the power, or to lock your device. So this button has uh, different uses. Now, this button here, the digital crown, and show you one thing you can do. Say I'm going to go in here and let's go into the app that I'm going to do a review on just so we can have it open to show you guys. Alright, so let's say I'm going to open up this app and let it load or whatever and I get out of the app. Okay, I go back here hit the digital crown once, it brings the clock to the center digital crown again brings the clock. But I want to go back into that app. Double tap and you're going to go directly into that last app you just used. Tap it again, you're out. 
double tap again. I'm in here. I want to close this out completely. Hold down this button. You're going to get this message here. Hold it down again. It's going to bring you right back out. So when I double tap again, it's going to try to bring me into the app again. So you can sort of close out an app completely. Let's say we go back in here again. And let's go back into that app again. Let's let it open. Okay, I'm going to show you something here that you can do with this button. You can hold it down until it says to power off. Hold it down again. It's going to bring you right back into your home screen. Now that app is completely closed. So that's a little trick that you can use this sort of the sleep wake button is what I'm going to call it. And uh, that's a pretty neat trick that you can use. Now you can see I have a lot of apps in here, but we're going to focus into here, which is the settings app. This is not the same as the settings on your phone. I'll show you that one. This one gives you little things you can do. Okay, and like I said, I can use a digital crown if I want to, or I can use my finger. Okay, it's going to give you also your airplane mode, ability to do that, Bluetooth, your do not disturb, and then your general. This will give you your about, your orientation, to activate when you raise your wrist, so your accessibility features, your Siri, regulatory, and to reset. Now if we go into about, okay, right here, you can see how many applications I'm currently running, 99. The capacity is 6.2 gigabytes, but you notice that I still have 5.5 .5 available. Apple Watch apps are a lot smaller in size than your iPhone apps, so just know that. I don't think you can have a thousand or whatever in there, but uh, it, they are a lot smaller, so that is something to know. And most of these are basic features here, of course, brightness, text, your sound, your haptics, and your passcode. Those are all basic features. I'll show you the one on the iPhone and you'll see uh, that those features are a lot more and they're a lot more extensive. You also have, of course, your activity. This is the one that came with the phone and this came with the, with the Apple Watch. So you can see how much you've done. This gives you an idea of each one that you've done so far. It's not going to give you the same monthly view as the iPhone will, but it'll give you a majority. So my impressions are that I'm very impressed with the way the Apple Watch is. I was skeptical in the beginning. If you watch my other previous videos, you'll see that I was deciding whether I should or should not get this Apple Watch. Now, if you are the type of person that wears watches, you constantly have watches on your wrist and you constantly look at the time and you're used to that, the Apple Watch is going to be perfect for you. But if you're a person that never wears a watch in your life, always relies on your phone to look at the time, the Apple Watch might not be something for you. Now for me, I've already used it for about a week. It's brought my productivity up about 90%, which is good. I like being able to check off my stuff on, on my watch and not have to go back to my phone and double check it again. So for me, the Apple Watch has definitely been the best ever. Battery life, I'm gonna show you right here, I'm at 62%. And you can see what time it is. Okay, I've been using this thing all morning long. I barely get it to 20 or 30% by the end of the night. That's after two full days of full charging when I first got it. So that's something you want to remember. And I don't answer calls on here only because I don't really want to use speakerphone. But I do everything else. I continue with my text. I do, um, like I said, all these apps in here. Checking battery lives and all that. So I do all those things on a daily basis. And doing that, I still end up with some good battery life. So this is my overview of the Apple Watch after using it for about a week. I wanted to give you guys my impressions uh, and kind of give you the idea if you're going to buy it or not. Because these are going to be available in store probably within the next upcoming months. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the iPhone settings and I'll go ahead and show you guys how that, that all works so you can customize this. All right, all right, folks, so now that I've shown you the Apple Watch, gave you my impressions, let me go ahead and show you how you kind of tweak the settings for the Apple Watch. This is on the Apple Watch app, the one that's on your iPhone, and you can see here it gives you a whole lot of settings, a lot of things you can do, sort of similar to your um, iPhone settings. So on the very top, you have your app layout. This shows you the entire layout of all your applications, that you have currently on your Apple Watch. You can take any one of these apps that are in here 
you can grab a hold of them and you can move them wherever you want. You have that option. You also have the option of deleting them from here if you want to as well. From there you also have airplane mode underneath so you can have it mirror your phone. So every time your phone goes into airplane mode your watch will go into airplane mode. But remember if you do that when you bring your phone back off airplane mode you're gonna have to go manually take it off of airplane mode on your watch. You have your Apple Watch name of course here. You can unpair it. Then you have your notification settings. This gives you all your notification settings in here. You can even set notification privacy and you can also set the separate notifications for each individual application. Turn ones on and turn ones off if you'd like to. Your glances, this gives you the, the ability to customize your glances on how many apps you want in here. And I think there's a limit on how many you can. So you want to just check that. If you're adding them in here and it says you cannot add any more, that's your limit. So down here they give you on the bottom the same plus. This is sort of similar to how you can add widgets to your notification center on your phone. You have the do not disturb settings, which you can have it mirror your iPhones if you want or customize it. Your general settings, this gives you your about, you have your software update, your automatic download. So if you download an update to an app on your phone, it'll automatically change it on the watch. You can do your watch orientation, change your accessibility, show your Apple ID, and then you can also enable handoff. So if you're working on something on your phone, you can continue on the watch depending on the app's ability. Same thing if you're doing something on the app on the watch, you can do it on the phone. Uh, you can have it detect your wrist if you want, so that it'll automatically unlock when, in your, when it's on your wrist. You can activate your wrist and then you can check your usage and you can also reset it. You have the brightness and text size can be edited here. Your sound and your haptics. Haptics is the, the little taps you get on your wrist when you get a notification, whether it's in silent or whether it's on sound. And you can change the strength of those if you want. Your passcode, um, you have your health, how you want it to mix with your health. You have your privacy settings, your motion and fitness. Down here you have your activity settings, so the activity app that comes on your phone and on the Apple Watch you can edit all those settings in here, your calendar settings, and you have all the basic ones in here, your clock, contacts, your friends, your mail, everything in here, even your passbook and adding your Apple Pay credit cards. Because even though you have it on your Apple Pay on your phone, you'll need to add it on this app. That allows you guys to have iPhone 5s and 5Cs and 5Ss to have Apple Pay, even though your passbook does not allow it on the iPhone 5s right now. But with the Apple Watch it will, that's why you have to add it on this app. Your photos, reminders, and everything else. Then down here on the bottom, this is all your applications. These applications all give you the ability to show it on the Apple Watch and also to show it in glances. And like I said, if you start tapping them all to showing glances, uh, it'll give you a limit. And not every one of them is going to be in your glances. You see, this one doesn't have the glances at all. Down here, all the way in the bottom, you have a learn more all the way in there. So if you want to learn more about how to use the Apple Watch, you've got it in there. So that is your settings for your watch itself. You can also add applications if you want to directly from this app. You can do that in there. You can search for them in here if you like. Or you can add them in the App Store and they'll still add on your Apple Watch. Just give it a little while to update on the Apple Watch. So I wanted to give you guys the uh, idea of what to do and how to use your Apple Watch. You um, set everything up on your phone, get all the apps on there, everything will transfer, transmit over to the Apple Watch itself. So that guys is my impressions, my review on the Apple Watch after a week's use. And I think that if you are a watch user, definitely go for it. Uh, you might be able to buy it in the stores pretty soon within the summer. So look into that on Apple's website. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Like this video if you like it, and subscribe. Once you subscribe, you'll get more of my videos. I plan on doing a lot more on the Apple Watch itself, and a lot more as far as the apps that are on the Apple Watch. Okay? So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys later with more.